Now let me tell you about the secrets and the beautiful, beautiful benefits behind this material. Now you might have noticed that when we were putting the spindles into each of the boxes, I did not use my right hand to put them into the boxes one by one. I counted into my hand one and then place it into the box. One, two, and with my left hand put it into the box. Now the reason behind this is we want the children to get a muscular impression of quantity. So when she counts one, it feels like this. But when she gets to the bigger numbers and she has maybe eight or nine in her hand, it feels like this. Her hand is struggling to hold it. So she's understanding with her body that as the numbers go higher, so the quantity also becomes bigger. Isn't that interesting? Every Montessori material has a control of error so that the child can correct themselves. We have talked about the control of error in a previous video, which I'm going to link in the description. And I'll sh also share a link right here so you can click and watch it to learn more about that. Now, we want the child to know what their mistake is. The control of error here is that there are 45 spindles. This means that when the child gets to number nine and she doesn't have enough spindles for the last box, that means she's made a mistake somewhere and there's an extra spindle in one of these boxes. So she can go back and correct herself. Or if she reaches number nine and she has too many spindles, then again she knows there's a mistake somewhere and she goes back and checks her work. And this means she doesn't need an adult to fix her mistakes or correct her or constantly be interfering with her independence. She can check her work by herself. Other benefits of this material, of course, are the motor skills, gross motor skills when the child carries this material to and, for the sh uh, to and from the shelf, fine motor skills as we pick up the spindles and put them in our hands. So they're developing their motor skills, eye-hand coordination, which will help them when they're writing because they have to coordinate their eyes and their hands as they put the spindles into the boxes. 